Well, information security experts say the battle against card skimming scams is one to be fought by both banks and customers. While banks should continuously improve their information security systems, customers should also be vigilant. It's an endless race. When experts say banks need to stay ahead of the game, even as hackers are innovating. Enhanced level of security normally would uh, and, uh, what they call include what they call two level or three level of security. And the idea is, for example, a card is one level, your PIN is another level, and the third level possibly could be biometrics or could be SMS authentication that comes back to the user. Again, it is not foolproof, but by having multiple levels of barriers of uh, authentication, that will make it more difficult for an uh, intruder to try to uh, uh, do something uh, illegal. Experts recommend that consumers also stay vigilant to protect themselves from card skimming scams. On Friday, DBS Bank said about 400 customers fell victim to the largest ATM fraud the bank has ever experienced, with half a million dollars stolen. Explaining how it could have happened, experts say the perpetrator could have installed an additional card reader to steal card information. A key component is installing a spy camera or even having someone spying nearby. Cards are protected by a pin, which only the user knows. So in order to capture the pin, one of the easiest ways, there are many ways, one of the easiest ways is to look at what the user key in and therefore the video camera or a third party observer nearby comes into play. Even if your ATM card information is stolen, card skimming scams can't succeed without the pin number. This is why banks recommend customers shield the hand keying in the pin number or changing it regularly. Typically for card skimming, there's a time lag between the cloning and the usage. And uh, what may it, may, it, it could be deliberate because they, they know that you know, banks may keep the video recordings for only a certain period of time and you know, customers may uh, not be may have forgotten when they use the ATM on the card. So uh, if, you change, if you make it a habit to change your PIN uh, regularly, then that will help to defeat the scammers. While experts concede that it's difficult for the average user to look out for signs of tampering at an ATM, what customers can probably do is take a closer look at the card insertion slot. Mr Tan said ATM screens could also show pictures of what a genuine card reader should look like as a warning to all ATM users.